Hi. Now in this video, we are going to talk about consensus protocol. So let's start. Before talking about consensus protocol, let us understand the concepts that we have learned so far. So we have talked about hashing algorithm and its importance in order to create a blockchain, immutable ledger, which protects our blockchain from hackers, miners who actually verify, validate, create our blocks in the blockchain, and then distributed P2P network with the help of which we distribute our block all over the network, right? Now, what is the importance of consensus protocol? Let us understand this. Consensus protocol helps us in two ways. First, in order to prevent attacks, uh, like if some, some hacker is trying to attack our blockchain, in that case, it helps us. And then in competing chain problem, which we will see in the next video. In this video, we are going to talk about how it prevents attacks. So there are various types of consensus protocol. You might have heard these names, proof of work, proof of stake, and there are others also like proof of concept, proof of history. There are so many other consensus protocol. But in this video, we are going to mainly talk about our proof of work consensus protocol. Okay. So let us understand this. So as we have discussed in our immutable ledger video, if a hacker tries to manipulate any central block or any middle block of a blockchain, then all the blocks after that block will get affected, right? And by this, these other nodes that are part of this blockchain network will be able to identify that there is some mistake with this A's blockchain and they will correct it. But what will happen if A is a hacker who is trying to add a malicious block at the end of our blockchain? Now, in this case, what will happen? Because now there are no other blocks, right? After this, there are no other blocks with the help of which we can say that, okay, this block is not a right one or is, this block is not a correct one. Because B, C, E, N, F, you can clearly see that they have only four blocks while A has added this corrupted block. But B, C, E, F do not know whether this block is a correct, correct block or not. Now, how we can prevent from this type of situation? Now, in order to prevent from this type of situation, what we have is a consensus protocol. So before adding this block, this malicious block to their blockchain, like BCEF in their blockchain, a consensus protocol is run. This consensus protocol makes sure that the block that is being created by A is correct or not. So there is an algorithm. So you can see that this is this is some part of this algorithm. There are definitely it is a three to four documents uh, long algorithm, but I'm just showing you some part of it. So this is a consensus protocol that runs whenever a new block is added to the blockchain. In this consensus protocol, the person who is adding a block, he has to present a proof. He has to present a proof that the block that I'm adding is a correct block. And that's why this algorithm is also known as proof of work algorithm in case of Bitcoin because the person who is adding this block, he has to present a proof uh, by stating that, okay, I have worked on this, uh, this block, I have worked on this block in order to add it. And to uh, what is what is that proof? Like, let me tell you that proof is uh, like the amount of energy this A is consuming in order to create this block because in a proof of work algorithm, a lot of energy is required, a lot of power is required and why this is so we will see in our upcoming videos, but a lot of energy is required in order to create this block. So A will present a proof that, okay, I have consumed this amount of energy. I have consumed this amount of, you know, power in order to create this block. And definitely there are other checks also, which will also run in order to verify that the block that is being created by A is a correct block or not. Now, once this is done, then and then only this block will be added to other nodes of the blockchain and then only a will be rewarded with a cryptocurrency if this consensus protocol this proof of work protocol finds out that this block added by a is not a correct block in that case a will not be rewarded with any cryptocurrency and a will be at loss because a has to consume huge amount of energy let's say he has consumed huge amount of energy in order to create this malicious block then he has to pay a huge amount of electricity bill so a will be at loss so this is how our consensus protocol works in order to have correct non-malicious block okay so if a block is added at the end of the blockchain also then also we have mechanism to prevent from uh, a block which is malicious in nature now there can be a question that verification and validation like since this adding of blockchain this adding of a block in a blockchain takes 
a lot of time okay it takes around an average of 10 minutes but does verification validation also take that amount of time because e b c e f will also verify and validate this block right definitely consensus protocol will run but also b c e f will also take measures in order to verify and validate this block so is this verification and validation is is this a time taking process so no this is not a time taking process creation of a block is a time taking process but verification and validation is a very easy process it's like you are giving a ubix hoop like you have like i have given you a problem you have to solve this rubik's cube and anyone right anyone from the network can identify that whether this rubik's cube has been solved in a correct way or not right you can just look at this rubik's cube you can turn around and you can see that okay this rubik's cube is has been solved in a correct way but to solve this rubik's cube is a actually time taking process and solving this rubik's cube is like creating a block and to identify whether this rubik's cube is a correct one or not whether the rubik's cube has been solved or not is verification and validation which is a very easy process as solving a rubik's cube so i hope you understand what is the importance of consensus protocol it help us to verify and validate the blocks before adding it to our blockchain and if you have liked this video please do hit on that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload blockchain videos on this channel if you want to directly interact with me you can interact with me on codeeta21 instagram id links are given in the description as well as if you want to connect with me not meet me actually the blockchain developer community that we have on discord there are 2000 plus members at the time of recording this video you can go there and you can talk to them you can interact with them directly there also so meet you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.